What's up guys, Keegan Brown here with video one on my Go To Cigars uh, YouTube channel. I'm starting this channel to help beginners to do cigar reviews, talk about cigar news, um, you know, anything under the sun as far as cigars go pretty much. Um, so this video is dedicated to the beginners. Uh, I was a beginner not too recently. I've been smoking now for about a year and a half. And I don't consider myself a beginner necessarily, um, but always, always learning and always building my knowledge and you know what what I like, what type of cigars I like. Always trying new stuff. And so this this video is for the beginner that wants to get started smoking cigars, and that has absolutely no clue where to start. So without further ado, let's begin. Item one. Find your local cigar shop, introduce yourself to the manager, the tobacconist, the storekeeper, whoever that may be, and simply tell them, I'm a beginner, I don't know what I want, will you help me? They're really nice people always, they, they, you know, they want to sell you a product that you like so that you come back and purchase more cigars from them, obviously, and so it's kind of, you know, it's a positive feedback loop. They want to help you so that you can help them. So definitely ask, because when I was first starting out, I didn't know what brands to buy, what to look for, you know, what I needed, etc. So, if I, w I wish I would have just asked, and it would have made the whole, you know, the whole process a lot easier. So, you know, when you're going in there, say I'm a beginner, they're gonna point you towards something that's a little lighter shade, you know, and it's gonna be a little milder and something just to kind of get you used to cigars. While you're at the shop, you're gonna need two things in order to smoke your cigar. You're gonna need a cutter like this so that you can snip the end of your cigar in order to puff on it and you're also going to need either matches or a lighter now if you're going to get matches go ahead and just get they should throw matches in for free and everywhere i've gone they've just you know tobacco shop tobacco shop will throw in a free box of matches whenever you buy cigars so and those are good because it's just wood. I, you know, after you burn the sulfur off the tip, you know, get it lit a little bit and then start lighting the cigar. And you're not going to get any type of chemicals through the cigar. And you're not going to taint the taste that uh, they intended for you to have. Another good choice is to go with a butane lighter. You can pick one of these up for pretty cheap. I think I got one for like six bucks one time. And uh, I got a huge thing of butane for it for like five bucks at Home Depot. Um, so then you have a lighter for a really long time. And the good thing about butane uh, versus propane is the butane uh, will burn off. It burns at such a high temperature that it doesn't leave any butane residue so that when you're lighting the cigar, you don't get any chemicals in there. The propane will leave chemicals in there. You can use a propane lighter. I mean, it's going to light your cigar fine. But um, if you want a true taste, I guess, uh, go ahead with the butane or just the simple matches, which I like to use. Item number two. What to look for. Uh, this is the big thing, you know, if, if you're kind of scared to go talk to the sh uh, manager, which you shouldn't be, um, you're, this is pretty much what you're going to want to look for. Um, for beginners, I always suggest a lighter shade, um, so something like a Connecticut, that's going to look like this cigar. This is a nice uh, Connecticut wrap. This specific cigar is the Alec Bradley all-American classic classic blend. Um, I haven't had this cigar yet. I'm looking forward to it. But you can see the shade is very light. It's almost like a it almost looks like peanut butter or like a caramel. And um, the with Connecticut shade, they're they're not going to be as rich or full flavor, so you're not going to be overpowered at all during your smoke. And it's um, you're going to have the flavors of that cigar. You know, all cigars are going to have different flavor, but the strength is is usually um, is usually going to be a little less with Connecticut. Now, that's not always true, but that's just kind of a rule of thumb. Um, another important thing to keep in mind is your price range. Um, my typical price range is like five to seven bucks, and you can usually get a really good smoke for five to seven bucks. You know, I've had two dollar cigars, I've had fifteen dollar cigars, um, I've had a twenty five dollar cigar, and I probably would prefer one of my seven dollar cigars over the twenty five dollar cigar. So, you know, it, it's Cigars are totally a personal thing. Someone might love a cigar, you might hate it. So um, keep, just keep in 
you know, keep in mind your price range and tell that to the store manager when you're asking about cigars. Say, I'm looking for uh, a nice lighter shade cigar uh, that's kind of creamy in the 5 to $7 range, and they will help you out perfectly. Okay, getting along. Item number three, make a list. So while you're smoking your cigars, you're going to want to keep track of what you've had, what you thought of it, you know, what, what did you taste? What flavors did you taste out of it? And um, most importantly, would you buy it again? Um, was it worth your money? And could you see yourself going back and saying, I like that, I would like to have this cigar again. Um, and that's one of the things I've always done is just have a list of all the cigars that I've had so I know um, what I like. And I can tell the manager, hey, I've had these cigars. Do you have something similar that I haven't tried yet? If you are looking for specific cigar brands to look out for, probably my top four brands uh, that I liked as a noob, top four or five, um, as a beginner were Fuentes. The first cigar I ever had was a Fuente. Uh, I think it was the Chateau Natural, which is just a Connecticut shade, very earthy smoke. Um, not, not too much going on, but definitely a good beginner smoke and still one of my favorites. Acid Cigars, they're kind of a new uh, company. Well, they're by Drew Estates, kind of a newer line. And they are infused with flavors such as like vanilla or like kind of like a creamy sugary taste. And that's actually on the wrapper. So when you lick your lips, it tastes, tastes good. You know, it's a unique experience. Uh, one of my other go-tos, which I would suggest to any beginner, is uh, Romeo and Julieta. Those are always very consistently good smokes for a uh, reasonable price range you can get. You can get a Robusto size, you know, it's about that for, you know, like five to seven bucks and they're going to be a good smoke. And Tabac. Tabac is coffee infused cigars also by, sorry, also by Drew Estate. And I, I find those really enjoyable because they not only taste like coffee on the wrapper, but the smoke actually tastes like coffee and, you know, they have hints of espresso and cocoa in there and it's very, very delicious. That kind of leads into my next point, which is point four. Try different brands so you can learn what you like. That's the biggest thing. Learn what you personally like because you're not going to like what the next guy likes. I've already said this, but one guy might hate a cigar and you might love it. He might love it. You might hate it. People are different, you know, and that's the biggest thing is just finding what you like. Um, when, when you're out there buying cigars, don't buy too many at once. Maybe buy... You know, one to three. That's what I was buying. I will probably buy one or two cigars at a time so that I could have it, you know, once a week, you know, maybe two a week. And just learning the brands, learning the types of flavors I like, what to look for as far as construction. Do I like the torpedo style? Do I like a box cut? Do I just like a simple, you know, a, the simple norm, the normal cap? I don't know what the technical name for that is, but, um, you know, different sizes, different lengths, different um, girths you know, ring gauges, and learn what you like. Once you start learning what you like, then you can maybe purchase like a box, like, you know, a desk humidor like this. But, you know, I've been smoking for a year and a half, and I just got this on like a deal that I found on Thompson Cigars. It was 30 bucks. It came with a lighter, a cutter, that humidor, and 10 Oliva cigars. And so I was like, for 30 bucks, I'll try that. And so I got 10, you know, 10 cigars, a box, and a lighter. It's a great deal. And that's another thing to look for deals. But humidor isn't necessary for beginners. When, while you're learning what you like, just go and pick up a couple cigars so that you're learning your brands and, and learning your, your personal palate. My last bit of advice, step five, would be to do your research. That was an, I was constantly researching good cigars for beginners. Or I'd have a cigar and, and see what people were saying about what did, what did these people review what, what were their tastes? What did they get out of it? And that, you know, at first it might be good to watch a review and then smoke the cigar so that you can look for those flavors rather than try to figure out the flavors on your own and then see if you were right. Um, after a year and a half of smoking, I'm to the point now where I'm, I'm certainly no aficionado, but I can definitely have a cigar, write down, you know, Memorize, like, wh what did I taste? What flavors did I get? How strong of the flavors were there? And they're pretty accurate to what other people were tasting. And so, you know, that's a, that feels good when you're tasting what other people are tasting as well. So, you know, 
okay, I'm not just crazy. <laughs> so, but definitely do lots of research. You can, you can never know too much, I guess. So that's it, guys. Hopefully these tips will help you in your search for the cigars you like, and hopefully this will help you get started into the cigar world. Go out, buy some cigars that uh, the manager suggests to you. You know, maybe go in with your buddies that want to try some as well. Go out on your porch on a nice evening, light some torches, and uh, have, have some nice cigars, and just enjoy the experience. Cigars are a social thing. You know, social experience, and it's it's just a great way to relax at the end of the week and uh, have have a nice have a nice night with some friends. So, hopefully, you guys learned something. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, all that other magic that's under my video currently, and uh, have a wonderful day.